rising from a crucial meeting where the prevailing political situation in the state in relation to the ongoing PDP congresses was discussed, the forum expressed explicit confidence in the Umar Damogun-led caretaker committee. Part of the aim of the group which pulled membership from the founding fathers of the party in the state including Jibril Aminu, Wilberforce Juta, Dan Suleiman, Bello Tukur and Umar Ardu, among others, is to move against any act capable of disrupting the ongoing exercise as approved by the National Working Committee of the party. The group spokesperson Umar Ardu speaks further on other resolutions of the forum. The forum noted with pleasure the enthusiasm dis displayed by the people of the state in turning out massively to elect the party leadership at the world level last Thursday, 27 December 2012. And in this regard, we want to thank members of the security agencies, especially the police, the SSS, and all other law enforcement agencies for supporting this process, at least for not disrupting it through an illegal ban of, the, of all party activities in the state. Other burning issues also took center stage during the session, particularly the non-appointment of a substantive chief judge in the state, as well as the activities of Governor Mutsalanyaku, being the leader of the party in the state. That we have it on good authority that the intention of the state government to appoint an acting chief judge for the state is a violation of section 271 subsection 1 of the Nigerian constitution which states that a judicial office is a career progression uh, is a career progression appointment based on seniority on the bench. There is more to the appointment of an acting chief judge from among the from among the junior judicial officers on the bench than meets the eye. Clearly, such an appointment is not only unconstitutional, but it is a direct disregard to the recommendation of the Chief Justice of the Federation, Chief Justice Aloma Mukhtar, uh, Maria Mukhtar, GCON, as contained in her letter to the State Governor dated 29 October 2012. have imagined to ignore the law. I tell you the reason. is because our Constitution gave them powers, not powers that, that that, that, that governors and gov governors have in other places. They can ignore the law. They can suck and appoint judges. They can do whatever. You, they invite them to go to court. They say they will not go because they have immunity. That's what the governor has been using here. He's been using two principles to other principled forces. One is money. Everybody knows this is not his money. It's the money that we have to build, build roads, build hospitals, do all sorts of things. This money is now being used for pursuing political ends. And now, sorry, you have to be patient. We will not use your money for anything but to fight. Fight who? Fight the people of Adama? That's number one. Number two, they'll be using the law enforcement agents, the police, the army. And I, I have to personally pay tribute to them for refusing to be dragged into this this time. This is a great development. And it's only God that have vindicated me today. Because probably we were depending on the CV and we didn't know him very well. <laughs> Even when I was serving him as chief of staff, all the blows were heaped on me. Yes. I was taking the blows. <laughs> Probably I will, I will only say that Lord God, God have really vindicated me because the second problem I'm not the one that created it for him. He is the only person that squandered all the goodwill that he had. The caretaker committee chairman fielding questions from journalists dispelled rumors that he was a rubber stamp and urged party loyalists to be unrelenting until the committee's mandate of change and reconciliation is completed. Uh, personally, <coughs> honestly, since I came to Adama, I've not seen a tip. So I don't know how you got your information uh, that the party has been controlled by a tip. 
I'm here, I'm the one doing things. And uh, like I said, when I came to this state, uh, I'm not going to be uh, fooled around by any one of them. Uh, I made it categorically clear. I'm here for my records and I want to keep my record clean. So please, uh, I want uh, that kind of uh, thinking to go out of people's head. I'm here to serve and I'm going to do just the right thing. Blessing to know. Go tell news.